guys welcome back to my channel abella's here welcome back or should i say welcome me back because i've been me lately and i haven't posted anything on my youtube so today i'm going to talk about some of you know updates and some of the um remedy that i've been doing to you know kill or prevent getting thrips on my plants so guys, how are you doing with the first day of winter time here in Canada? Me, I'm glad I don't have to work for two days. Today is my day off. And the thing is, I had a problem with my tire. One of the tires in my car broke down this morning, so I had to do a lot of things today. But yeah, um, so far, life is doing good. <laughs> I just want to apologize with you on the videos that I posted on my YouTube because a lot of a lot of you or a lot of people didn't like the soundtrack that I've used and the volume of my video they said they couldn't hear what I'm saying so I don't know um I did my best like I don't, I'm not editing but I don't know what happened but I listened and now I'm not putting any more music so you guys can hear me but I'm using my phone so if you see that it's shaking and it's moving that's because I am holding it on my right hand so forgive me for that so basically what I did maybe some of you will not gonna agree with me but I don't care it's all for my plants anyway <laughs> so what I did um I basically changed all of like single in the house. I repotted it. I changed the soil. I washed the plant with, you know, just the plain water. And I cleaned the um the roots and I separated some of the big plants or some of the infected one and placed it into different spots. Because you know thrips, they can get inf one uh, one plant can get infected right away, because they fly obviously. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing, and I also did washing the leaves with soap. Um, I I I use the uh, Dawn, but don't do that because I don't recommend it. I've tried it and I've I've experienced it. It's nice and you don't see the, um, the the bad effect right away. But once you rinse it with soap, um, in a few days or so, it'll, the leaves will turn yellow. You know, maybe they react differently if there is a soap on. Or maybe the leaf will react differently if they get contact with, you know, um, with soap. I don't know that's how i that's how i experience on my plank uh, i will show you later <laughs> on what i've done to some of my plants i've actually uh, rinsed it with uh, soap and it turned yellow what else i did so yeah the first one i repotted it i changed all of the soil single plant every single plant here in the house i changed it with different coke different or fresh cocoa core of course with mixed with uh, perlite and the worst thing that i did one plant the one plant that i really loved well not really loved but one plant that i really like because it's growing pretty good but then suddenly it got infected so i had to do that i threw it and that's my adansonia or adansoni the long one or the huge one that I had on my shelf. If you can see on my YouTube, on my sorry, on my Instagram, I posted that a lot. I threw that plant. Like, like you said, and maybe a lot of you will not gonna agree with me, but that's how I did it. Some of the plants that got infected, like my Adansonia and my Alocasia, that's where it started. I don't know why, I don't know the reason why, but that's how I see that's how I noticed, I should say. Um, what else? I threw some plants actually that I don't really wanted to keep um, anymore. 
or maybe <laughs> I'm the only crazy person who's doing that I don't know so yeah um, I also gave a lot of plans to some of my friends the plans that I don't want to I don't want to keep it no more but we, I don't we don't want to talk about that anymore but we wanted to focus on getting rid of threats first I repotted my plan changed it with a fresh cocoa core mixed with perlite second I um, I kind of you know place the plants that got infected into a different location in the don't want them to get um, to put them placed together and what else I cut some leaves I removed some old leaves as well the leaves that has yellowish in it or dryness in it or something that was infected because of the ribs. I also changed the pot itself because some of my plants they keep growing and the roots are you know stucking in the bottom and I want them to gr to grow more so if you can see I've I've had a lot of green plastic pots in the house now because it's not it's not fitting in the um, IKEA one that I that I used to you know that I used to place my um, plants it's been four days now and I've seen a lot of changes on my plants like I I don't know if I'm the only one who's doing it but maybe a lot of you are doing it, this one as well but whenever I wake up in the morning or going be going to bed at night I always check every single plant if there something's going on in the leaves so yeah so I haven't seen any weird stuff that's going on um, aside from that I think it's working so I would say 99% 99% I kind of got rid of the thrips on my plants like honestly I've had or I've got like some of my plants got really Ha or sad um, thrips on it and I really managed to prevent prevent that from from coming back and yeah I'm happy we will see in the next couple of weeks but hopefully I'm crossing my fingers I hope that I don't see any more thrips on my plants because it's crazy and actually Thrips don't like cold temperature. They love to sit on a hot um, temperature, I guess. So just watch out for that. If you have a really, really, really dry place, make sure you, you have at least, you know, a hum good humidity around and because that's where the flies will start or so this is what i wanted to show you guys as you can see the leaf is turning yellowish on the side yes this is because of washing using soap on this leaf because a lot of you know a lot of thrips in here before and then i want to wash it and then i kind of fascinated using the soap and this happened yes so i don't recommend soap anymore and um, this is my oops sorry this is my my seed is coming out pretty good so hopefully my fingers again hopefully i'll be able to propagate that soon and these are some of the plants i hold i also have washed this one so you guys can see that i washed the corner the middle part and because I'm very OC, you know, and it turned yellow. So, yes, but this one I haven't tried washing in. See, the, I just got this one recently and look at how velvety it is. So, yes. And finally, I got here. I have my forgety, forgety, forgety. I don't know how to say it. So... I have this one, but it has, um, 
it has a split in here and it's a hybrid so there you go so yeah that's all the craziness i've been doing lately um i just want to share with you this um this is very helpful very helpful with my plants i'm gonna show you this one this little guy over here it's called a sticky sticky trap it's like a mouse trap mouse trap but it's a sticky one that catches some flies on the plant so as you can see i've got or i've got a bad infestation before i've used this one for almost a month now and i have not changed it this is a wax and it's very sticky it's not very sticky but it's really like for the flies obviously they will stick right away if they catched it or if they flew on this um surface so as you can see i have i think nine nine of them in here in just one plant imagine that like i've had a really really bad infestation with thrips but luckily like you said i managed to prevent that to happen again so i've been using that sticky trap if you wanted to consider using that as well it's very helpful or you know if you don't have any if you don't notice anything that's going on in your plants you can try that and just kind of stick it in one place they love in a dark place they love to go or they love that the dark place so just place that sticky trap on the dark place and the plants that you think it has something's going on just check the leaves if it has a yellowish color or brown something like you're kind of like trying to um eating the leaves so just place that on and see if you have an infestation of thrips as well but yeah aside from that i don't have any more um remedies that's the only that's the only thing i'm doing change the soil like every single plant in the apartment and then use the sticky trap and watch my leaves every morning and go into bed and now i'm crazy and also um i forgot to tell you i have this tape if you have a tape at home take that and if you see a, a thrips on the surface or on the leaf itself just take the and stick it on the leaf just to get rid of the thrips it's fun but they will keep on coming back but at least you're preventing to you know grow a grow an adult fly so what else um just be mindful of washing your plants with soap like i said a while ago because i've done it and i've experienced it and the result was really bad. Uh, had my anthurium, I washed it with soap, with Dawn, like the dishwasher soap. And after a few days, I think after three or four days, I've seen or I've noticed a yellowish on the tip and on the side part because of using soap. So be careful of using stuff, especially if you don't know the chemicals and you know the chemicals that they used on that soap but maybe you can you can use the neem neem oil or neem oil i think i haven't tried it but you can try that as well but some people i guess they're using neem oil and then a soap together i think it's a no-no so i don't know i don't recommend that so yeah so this is what i am talking about i washed this one with soap as well and look how it turned yellow in the middle because i ran the soap in here so yes this is a very nice um hybrid for for giddy for giddy <laughs> i don't know how to say my my sci the scientific name of my plants i'm very bad of naming them and also i have one sticky trap in here again 
oop, I never, I don't see any bad stuff there. So, so guys, that's all for tonight. Or should I say that's all for today? But it's already night and I'm filming it now. Um, I hope you guys like this video and I listened. I don't put any more music because you don't like it. So I'm not doing it no more. So yeah, <laughs> follow me on my Instagram at flanzidiabell. I hope you can see this somewhere here. I'm going to post it or I'm going to um, put my name in here. Or you can also follow the link down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestion or recommendation or anything, any ideas, feel free to comment down below and see me on my Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon on my next video. Bye-bye.